Yeah. Jazz views with CJ Shearn here. Actually, what's in the background is not what I'm going to show you, but it's a Jimmy Smith Trio plus LD. The rare Japanese only uh, Jimmy Smith session recorded on July 4th, 1957. Uh, with uh, Jimmy's regular trio of Eddie McFadden on guitar and Donald Bailey on drums and this is an album that I was looking for for years because I've collected Jimmy's entire Blue Note uh, output considering I'm uh, probably one of the biggest Jimmy Smith fans um, ever and um, that's kind of an understatement because I grew up you know with the guy's music from the womb practically and <clears throat> this album I was looking for it for years and I was able to get it fairly cheaply on eBay maybe 10 years ago because a guy was selling a copy for 15 bucks but it happened to be water damaged and that was okay because the CD played fine and it ripped fine and everything but um yeah Jimmy Smith Trio plus Lou Donaldson let me just stop that for a moment and a Jimmy Smith album that I've listened to uh, many, many times. Let me just get rid of the OB here for a minute. A Jimmy Smith album I've listened to countless times over the years. Uh, Jimmy Smith plays Fat Swaller. And this is a record that I first got um, a cheap applause pressing of when I was five years old. I actually got it at a flea market. Yes. What what five year olds are interested in jazz? You know, I was fairly rare in that regard. But this is an album that I've listened to countless times over the years, and um, something about it just when I was listening to it the other day. And this is the the Japanese RVG pressing from 2003 uh, mini LP, uh, which I got at Tower Records in New York City for thirty dollars on a trip. Um, and at the time, the album was extremely rare, hadn't been issued on CD. It was finally issued on CD in the U.S., I think around 2008 or something like that. But um, something that really struck me about this record uh, just yesterday, as a matter of fact, was the groove and the zone and the mood that they get into. And... You know, it's probably one of the, besides Plays Pretty Just For You, it's probably one of the most mellow, low-key Jimmy Smith albums out there. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, Jimmy's uh, squabble style on the, the recording, which is, um, that's the style also known as the Errol Garner style. That was the registration that he came up with having, I think it's the, first draw bar and the last five draw bars out on the upper manual with um, the 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 tremolo on and I think the third percussion is still on soft I've, I've talked to uh, many organists over the years and gotten in, uh, information about stop settings and things like that but uh, yeah, that's got a lot of this on that record. But but just the mood that they get, they just get into a zone and it just stays there and it's great. Um, it would have been interesting though if the album Straight Life, which was reissued for the first time, which was issued rather for the first time in 2007 as a Connoisseur series CD that was a June 1961 session that was um, Jimmy Smith's only Blue Note session for that year. And it's got a lot of tunes that are in a similar kind of mood to Plays Fat Swaller. And I'm just wondering if that was released at the time instead of Plays Fat Swaller, if it would have gotten any uh, classic status. But Plays Fat Swaller to me is an underrated classic. It's... um. I would easily give it a 10 out of 10, that's my rating system, from a 1 to 10. And I really like on the last track, I found a new baby. Uh, there's a point where Donald Bailey's comping, and his comping um, on the album, it's just, 
you know, there's nothing really heavy, but it's just really, really interesting comping. Um, he does a uh, a three-two clave at one point. Uh, he just inserts it into the tune and uh, on the tom, and it's just really, really interesting flavor. Uh, it's, you know, Quentin Warren doesn't have any solos on it. He's just playing four to the bar, uh, Freddie Green style chords, but plays pretty or uh, plays Fat Swaller. Jimmy Smith plays Fat Swaller. Excellent record. Highly recommended. Um, I don't know if it's been issued on HD tracks or anything like that yet. I don't think they've reissued any more Jimmy Smith for a while. But Jimmy Smith plays Fat Swaller is an underrated classic to me. Peace, love, groove, and keep swinging, everybody.